Good evening, you're watching Sport News on One. The World Squash Federation event, which will include the Men's and Women's World Junior Individual Championships, in addition to the Men's World Junior Team Championship, will be held in the capital from the 10th to the 21st of August this year. The main objectives for the Namibian Squash Association remains to promote squash as a choice of sport for the general public. Two of Namibia's brightest squash stars will be competing in the championships. The NSA has entered six boys and five girls for the tournament. The Vinduk-based players Karl Krill and Lida Marie Karlitz have both been training hard in preparation for the event. The 15-year-old Lida Marie Karlitz also started playing at a young age and has received specialized coaching for the past four years. In 2011, she was runner-up in the under-13 category at the national championships and the following year, she won the title for the first time. I'm very excited and I'll, I'm taking it as a learning experience and just to enjoy it. I don't know really, it's my first time I take part in a competition like this. So I think all the matches will be difficult. I'll just give my best and learn about it. Kyle Creel started playing as a seven-year-old against his dad, Lindsay, and first made his mark at national level in 2012 when he finished as runner-up to her hardest lottering in the under-12 national championships. Ever since I heard the, about the tournament, I've been adding more sessions with my coach. And mm. Twice a week I have a session with a biokineticist for core muscles, mm. strengthening and fitness. So. It's the first year in such a big tournament, and it's in Namibia this year, so yeah. experience. Both Lida Marie and Kyle are coached by Sean Wathen and form part of his development team that is currently leading the Squash Business League. I do two or three sessions with them on a weekly basis, and um, in that I cover all the aspects of uh, preparing them for this world-class event. I won't say we're 100% up to date, that would be a bit naive, mm. taking into consideration that um, this is the first time we've had mm. this type of exposure in Namibia, all right, and um, the players that they're up against, they, they have weekly exposure to international tournaments, whereas we, we might have three or four within the year. But the way that Namibia is moving, the way that the Sports Council has supported this, with this fantastic uh, court, things can only look up from now. Mm. And on to motorsport. The 2014 Fortins and French races will be doing a cross-border raid into Namibia. The Namibia Motor Club will be hosting the event at the 2.6-kilometer Tony Rust circuit. The event will be the largest motorsport event ever at the circuit, which is just outside Vinduk. Images of icons such as the Mustangs and GT40s unconsciously pops into your head if, you name, if the name Ford is mentioned. For the Petrolheads, it not only means red-hot racing this coming weekend, but also a display of some of the most desirable cars that ever came out of the Ford stables. Very unique event. It's the second time that Ford & Friends has been, uh, has been hosting in, in Namibia this year. Um, and we've got a lot of cars coming from South Africa, especially we've got the, the V8 Masters, uh, the, the big stuff that's coming down from South Africa. About 10 of them that will be here this weekend and uh, it's going to be a fun weekend. Weekend, uh, all is going to be at the Tony Rust racetrack. We're going to start at 5 o'clock Friday evening uh, with the drags. That will be the fi uh, 50 bucks per person entry. Um, and then Saturday morning we're going to start with the circuit racing. That will be 70 bucks per person. So great action coming this weekend as you can see. In the meantime, from me, Johannel. It's good night.